guys what's up so got another charger another lithium charger and I saw this a couple days ago and I liked it how it was, looked more like a like a, like a test bench design uh, a couple days ago I bought this ISDD charger it's pretty cool I mean it's tiny um, some issues with it you know like the voltages don't seem right like I need a calibrator or something but yeah like what I measure on my multimeter and what I get on that charger are two different things so this one's definitely high so I gotta calibrate it or send it back. So, yeah, you don't really want to charge cells if the voltage, if the multimeter is not detecting the right voltage, then you're gonna either overcharge or undercharge your, your uh, cells. So, yeah, you can wreck your cells with the voltage isn't correct. All right, so, all right, so this was about 63 bucks Amazon, and I liked it because it looked like the uh, sort of like a bench top design, and also I could connect this to my computer, my test bench computer, and I guess control this thing via software on my computer so we'll try that and we'll see how it looks. I didn't see any other videos online with the software so I'll try to get that going. Alright. Manual. Yeah, I like this the way it looks. I mean I, I like I do actually like the color touch screen. Not touch screen, just the color screen of the uh, ISDT, but And when I was looking at this, I was trying to figure out this is like a knockoff of the Sky RC. Because there's so many knockoffs of the Sky RC with the four button design. You know? Like they're all running the same knockoff software. But they're all like knocked off. If you look at the motherboards, they're all the exact same design. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's going to fit on my test bench over here. You can see that under my oscilloscope. I'm going to put it next to my oscilloscope right there. So... All right, and then my, my test bench computer sits right above here. So I'm going to run a USB cable up to my test bench computer, and I can see what's going on, or hopefully control it. Or get some, uh, it'll be easier for me to uh, graph out, like uh, I'm checking cells and stuff. All right, so yeah, this is your basic uh, lithium charger. You know, you're balancing leads, positive and negative. I guess it has a 5-volt out temp probe. But this is what it came with. Came with a little, uh, little balancing like a bus, and the cool thing too is it actually has a, an AC adapter built into it. So, um, and the cool thing also, when I looked at the motherboard online, is that the uh, Sky RC, like the six BAC, is actually just an AC adapter inside that blue like aluminum case. It's just an AC adapter, where this actually has its own separate motherboard. So if you down below, it has its own circuitry, a separate motherboard. It's not an AC adapter, like an external AC adapter inside a case. So, all right, let's get the thing fired up. Oh, then it looks like it also has a, a DC in. So if I actually had like a XT or XC, I can't remember, XT connector, just plug it in there. Okay, warning, never leave battery. Tinted. Okay. Yeah, I like chargers that are actually easy to figure out. Like I don't have to go back and look at the manual. Program select. Okay, that's sort of annoying. Well, if I have to, it doesn't say what it is. Very. I, well, I guess I gotta look at the manual and figure out what that means, but like I said, I just opened this up, so. Alright, so the All program right. mode is just like a custom program you can do, it looks like. Hopefully I can program it from the computer, because I'd rather not do it here. It seems like it'd be more more of a hassle. But, one of the things I liked about this charger over like the ISDT was that you could cycle discharge and charge and set the amount of times you want to cycle it. Whereas I couldn't do that with the ISDT charger. I mean, it's definitely a nicer interface, easier to deal with with this spin wheel, but... Um, yeah, definitely some more, more features on, on this charger. And I, I, I think this is actually sort of like a like a total... It reminds me of a knockoff of the, of the Sky RC. Like, just the way it's laid out. But the, the, the screen is different, but the, the four-button layout, you know? Alright, so I'm going to play with this. I'm going to get the software going on the, on the computer and we'll be back. All right, so I have this little USB cable going up to my test bench computer here. And that's a charge master software. I'm going to change my uh, software so you can see this a little bit better. 
All right, so now I'm back on my computer. Let's uh, take a look at the software that came with the uh, device. So you have to first go to their website and download it. That's my sorry, that's my Octo Print right there. All right, so though it's on uh, High Tech rcd.com uh, yeah it doesn't come actually in the box so you have to actually download it from their website so this is actually 2.0.3 and what I noticed is it's called the software is called charge master and it's the same exact software that uh, sky sky RC, uh, has it's both called uh, charge master so that's why I figured this thing is a clone of the uh, sky RC but let's take a look at it real quick so let me hook up a lipo battery to it real fast and I'll be back here all right, so we're back at the software page. So it's it's pretty basic. It's all point and click. You can just basically choose like lipo, lithium ion, NiCad, nickel metal hydrate. PB is actually uh, like the old like uh, lead acid batteries. All right, so let's uh, let the ion. But let me show you this a uh, couple of other features before I do a charge. Actually, I'm gonna do a discharge. So um, basic system settings here. You can discharge 10 minutes, charge the time, rest time. Um, buzzer and the, this is actually where the cool part is here the uh, programming feature so I've already created a couple of uh, options here so this would be a charge I've already named it single lithium ion for an 18650 cell lithium ion so the max charge current is one amp actually I might bring this down lower because I'm trying to recover these cells so I might go down to one if it even allows me to do that point one zero and same thing for the discharge Point one. It's going to take a while. So what's going to happen is at the end voltage, when it's 4.2 volts, that's when it's going to stop charging. And then for if I was going to discharge it, it would be down at 2.9 volts. So I'm going to save this as a charge. Actually, never mind. Sorry, I didn't do that. Um, all right, 2.9. I should might bring that up to three actually, just to be safe. All right, so let's go back and charge this thing real fast. Let's see what happens. So Lilo charge. I'm going to do option one. It would be the 18650. There we go. All right. Let's do a quick charge and we'll get it going. As you could probably hear a beep, and then it's going to show me on the graph uh, what's happening, how many milliamps it's pulling, and voltage, and that kind of stuff right here. So you can click on the individuals, and then you could do like a you know, full screen view. It's going to bring that up. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not like, uh, if you want some really in-depth viewing, you should probably look at, uh, it's actually called uh, Law View Studio, and that's going to give you way more in-depth with your cells. With that, you can actually see, like, the different, uh, the balance charging, the different individual cells. All right, cool. Fit to view. Full screen. All right, pretty cool. I mean, it wasn't a very expensive charger, but... Like I was saying earlier, this is a high-tech version of Charge Master, but the version of uh, that comes from SkyRC is the exact same high Charge Master software. So it's the same software, probably licensed to two different companies. So, all right, guys, cool. Um, cool charger. I'll put a link where you can get it.